This episode is brought to you by United Airlines. What's new with United? New and redesigned planes with things like larger overhead bins with room for everyone's roller bag, power outlets at every seat, screens at every seat, and the ability to connect your Bluetooth headphones to those screens. Plan your trip today at united.com or on their award-winning app. Final delivery schedule subject to change. Feel the real with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds. Breakthrough immersive audio makes everything sound crazy natural. High fidelity sound and world-class noise cancellation are tailored to your ears only so everything hits just as it should. Dive in deeper at bose.com/spotify. All right, here we are. So today on the Man Fuse podcast, we're going to talk about focus and where you put it can affect your mental health on a daily basis. Ben H, here How's he it is going? in all his glory. He's got his uh, button up. Is that Peter Millar you're it wearing? It is, with my skull. Oh, those are little skulls. Little skulls. Look, I didn't know Peter Millar had so much fashion. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know he made a, a quality, yeah. soft product it's that beautiful. was stretchy and felt good. It's beautiful But I didn't stuff. know it was anything I would embrace. When you look at the two of us, yeah, I'm more of the slob. Yeah. In the, in the relationship. Here. Yes. Okay. I'm not saying I can't dress up. I'm in a t-shirt and jeans 99% of the year. Yes. And I, where I don't have to really dress up to do business. Right. You know, I can shake hands, kiss babies with my pants down. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Casual as, as, it, as it comes. Casual as a cucumber. That's right. Before being pickled. That's right. Whereas I am not typically he, casual. He is Peter Millar. Today, I've got my ostrich boots on. He does. He's wearing ostrich, but one thing is missing from this equation. What's that? Where's your purse? <laughs> I hadn't carried the He's purse He's ditched in a while. his purse. I he adopted it. it. He embraced it. He was confident in dealing with and overcoming yeah. the insults and objections. That's right. And then I think it got to him. I think in the back of your mind, psychologically, that one time it was your sister's friends or it was whose house where you were at or I didn't even remember. It and, was a big deal for me though. And, and and they said they made a comment about your purse. Yeah. And I think you responded confidently. That's right. Never to be seen again. That's right. Absolutely. I think you probably couldn't have slept that night well and you were like, you know what? He's right. I am I'm a douche for having the purse. <laughs> it just kind of faded out. And you know? I don't think you're a douche for having the purse. I get it from a function standpoint. Yeah. And it was not bad looking. No. It, I mean, it was a great man purse. It looked like a like an army bag or something, but and it, it looked, just kind of phased out. I don't know. And it looked like you should have cigars in there and yeah. a cigar cutter. It would be yeah. everything like Ron White. That's a good idea. Have a cigar bag. Yeah. Well, it just... Have a cigar be a part of the man purse. Oh, like a little pocket yeah. in the front, like uh, you just slide your uh, Cuban yeah. into it. Yeah, exactly. And then there's another little pocket that's right. got your cutter. Absolutely. And then your torch. So it's just like, pew, pew, pew. Boom, and you just, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. Everything a, na- oh. a man needs for a picnic out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's, really? Does this look gay? I'm yeah. going to just say, oh, yeah, look at this. How about now? Yeah, as you're <laughs> lighting up your fucking stogie. <laughs> been enjoying a few cigars lately though i did see that on yeah. instagram or yeah. wherever the hell you post yeah wherever you show and flaunt yourself wherever i flolic and where, frolic or Frol- flolic flolic <laughs> flolic <laughs> that's a new word so, social uh, flolicking social flolicking so <laughs> it's been busy it's been busy on your end ben it's been busy on our end and on my end the whole world has gone crazy has it? Has it any crazier than two weeks ago or a week ago? It I'm- seems to always be crazy. I mean, the funny thing about the world and at least the news, right, which I don't pay attention to the news anymore. As a matter of fact, I have an announcement to make. I no longer have cable television. I have only <gasps> Wi-Fi. What? Yes. Only Wi-Fi. Why? No more cable. So you canceled your subscription? Canceled it. How much was that costing you a month at your house? It was approximately a total, it was like 280. And is that internet included or internet and cable with the movie channels and stuff? 
So probably two or three hundred bu- so bucks. So a hundred of that's probably high speed internet, and you probably got the fastest package. I would assume I've got the fastest package of internet for like one thirty a okay, month. Okay, so so it's like one hundred and seventy, two hundred bucks for cable channels. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got your Netflix subscription, your Bro. Prime subscription. Bro, yeah. Do you, do you have Disney Plus? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And what else? But that's all free through Verizon. Which is cool. Are you with Verizon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, Verizon right. pays for all that for me through my cell bill, which is pretty uh, cool. They pay for Disney Plus? The whole like Netflix. bundle of packages. You really don't need. I've not had it now for two months. Oh, wow. I, I would never know the difference. How was the family coping? That We'd never know the difference. Watch football. Because really, how many of those movie channels did you sit and watch on a weekly basis? You never watch them. Because watch, there's nothing on. We watch football on YouTube. If there's a football game, we can get the live. Do you game. pay for a YouTube TV subscription? Yes. Yeah, yes. And that's like what? 50? Seventy dollars. Did you do that in place of yes. the cable? Well, the other thing is that I don't have to have my cable box. You know, so like I have an outdoor TV that connects to Wi-Fi, but you couldn't put a cable box on it. But is it, but you were getting it off of just Wi-Fi. You were just streaming. Not cable, but I can do YouTube, YouTube TV. Right. I could also be at the beach renting an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. And as long as they have a smart TV, I could pull up my YouTube TV account. Right. I have it on my phone as well. You know, I mean, it's like, it just, there's so many more options that make more sense. But do you like YouTube? Like, does it give you all the channels, doesn't it? Everything. But it doesn't give you them. You still have to buy movie channels if you wanted them. I don't know, but I don't know because I have like Prime. Or Apple, right, 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 right. You know, right. you know, that get all my movies there. You know, I don't need to sit there and watch whatever HBO decides to play. Just watch what right. I want. Right. Sorry. And I went to cancel mine because I felt the same way yeah. with all. Because like, and the only thing that my wife watches is Bravo. And if she had Bravo, so she could watch all the housewife yeah. trash. They trash might have that on like Hulu. Oh no, but you could you could just sign up for that channel for like four bucks. Yeah. Yeah. But I went to cancel an AT and T because I got fiber and Direct TV is owned by AT and T. And I went to cancel it. The little bit I pay for what the cable is, they were gonna jack up my internet. Yeah, they did that. Yeah, they do that. So therefore it yeah. was almost like, well, then you might as well just leave it. Yeah, I did that too, but then I was like, you know what, fuck it, it's still a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? Anyway, the narrative wants you to focus on the past and the future. That's what the narrative wants you to focus on. So it wants you to talk about or think about things that happened in the past. And what you're going to do in the future. What's going to happen in the future. All scary things, all the scary things that happened. So scared. And all the scary things that are going to happen. Well, you know, if you don't know this, when you're worried about the future, that creates anxiety. And when you're concerned with the past, that creates depression. So... Depression comes from worrying about the past. Anxiety comes from worrying about the future. So now we have all these drugs that people take for depression and anxiety, right? And it's because they're focused on the past, they're focused on the future. Well, what's the alternative is the present moment. The present moment, that is where you have the ability to control things, where you have the ability to change things is in the present moment. And so... Really, I don't have a need to watch something that tells me about the past or the future. My focus is on the present moment. That's been awesome. And that's your reason for canceling cable? Yes. Yes. All the news, big news, I get the notifications to my phone. Like, if yeah. anything I want to read. I could literally have no internet and probably be fine. You get it all through the cellular now. My phone actually operates better on cellular than it does Wi-Fi. So the truth is you probably don't even need Wi-Fi, but you know, you like to have the stuff for the kids to watch and you know, all that kind of stuff with the apps prime. And well, you just said something to me and it's like, you made a reference to, uh, and I think every episode we're like, what's going on in the world right now? Shit's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's getting crazier. Then I just, as you said that I looked up and so I was, went to a, um, a garage sale in Alpharetta in this area of Alpharetta that has been, it was this like old fifties ranch house. And now it's been torn down. There's probably an office building yeah. there now because it, it was right across from this big mixed use development called Avalon. And when I was there, this dude had 
a container in the back of his property and he had it all open. And when I went in there, he had newspapers, some of them like sealed up. So yeah. I saw these two that he had like, he had them like the whole thing up against these like piece of cardboard and they were in plastic and they're like 1934. Well, first off, I like the headline. They are old. Yeah, 1934 and the headlines and there's two of them I bought. One of them is the one uh, when these gangsters execute seven victims with machine guns. And then the other one is when John Dillinger was shot to death by a federal uh, marksman coming out of a movie theater. Yeah. So these were big gangsters in, right. the, in the 30s. But if you start looking at the other headlines on the front of these newspapers, women's leader taken by death. At Baton Rouge, one slain, two wounded, an escape in Texas prison break. Yeah. I mean, War Department group demands Army Air Corps, second to none. Scores of houses fall on owners during quakes. It's the same shit. Yeah, yeah it, it is. really is. I mean, granted, there's a, a bit of a newer technology, obviously, right. you know, but when I look at it, teacher's slayer faces charges of murder after Failing to keep cult suicide back. Crazy. The world's always been Governor crazy. defends search of women in gambling raid. Yeah. So liquor with firing squad. Selling liquor. That's the only yeah. difference. Liquor's legal now. I can't focus on anything that I can't control. That's probably a good thing. But it's like, you know, we're always like, man, the world's so messed up right now. But I feel like the world has always been messed up. And this isn't a podcast. We're all, well, we're like, oh, it's doom and gloom. What the hell's wrong with the world? I mean, there's always fucked up shit going on. Does it ever get better? Eh, some things improve. Yes. Nothing's ever solved, right? I mean, there's just too many variables. There's what, a few billion people on this well, you know, a few billion people. And, I think you know, seven billion. Are something we seven? Like that. It's more than a few. Okay, so seven billion people. It's insane. You can't control everyone, and the variables no. are way too much to yes. control. So you can only try to control your variables by luck and decision making, I yes. guess, is about the, the best you can do. Thanks for listening to the Man Fuse podcast. Please join the show, share the show. Hit us up at manfuse.com or 770 744 5227. Full Media.